Hello, friends of golf course quality fertilizer. Uh, we have a disease here that's kind of rare that we see in the lawn. Uh, we see it on a golf course quite often, but uh, it's a rare one to see in the home lawn. Reason being is because it's a high nitrogen disease. So if you notice, if you look at this, the grass looks nice and green all around it. Uh, and then it's got this patch in here. So, uh, so how to identify brown patch? And that's what this is, it's brown patch. Um, there's a lot of different, you know, ring diseases and brown patch is a rare one. But uh, nice thing is it doesn't typically kill the grass. It just makes these weird, ugly little circles like that. I know whenever somebody sees brown grass, they think it's dead, but it, it's not dead always, right? There's more to a plant than a leaf and that's just leaves. So, <laughs> so what you'll see is some gray areas around the outside. Now, right now it's not active anymore because our nighttime temperatures are like in the 50s. And so that puts the kibosh on brown patch like right away. Uh, it has to have 70 degree nights in order to be active. You'll see in the morning, you'll see this like white or this uh, gray smoky little edge around it. Uh, that's the mycelia, the fruiting body, which makes it uh, continue and know that it's active. Uh, there's no longer that with this. Uh, and it's just a neat disease because it's rarely seen, at least it's neat to me as a turf scientist, right? Uh, but it, it looks similar to, to um, Pythium as far as like the way the leaves kind of look a little gray and laid over and stuck together. Uh, but that's not the case here. It's got a ring and so Pythium's gonna be in a spot, not a ring. And then what's interesting is we have brown patch, which is a high nitrogen disease. That means you have a lot of nitrogen working good. Then we go across the way. Now you'll notice the grass over here is a little bit more yellow looking. It's a little less nitrogen and hence we get the other disease that happens at hot weather and that's the dollar spot. So here we got dollar spot. You can tell because it's bleached out. It's more of spots, hence the name, you know, spots, right? Not rings. Uh, and so, and you see the hourglass shape and the little, you know, bleached white part and the, the brown on the borders of it. Oh, there's a good one right there. It shows a little brown on the borders and white bleached spot. So that's dollar spot. And then over here, some more brown patch where the green's a little green or the turf is a little greener. You know, here's that, here's some of that. It looks like it's getting laid over and looks all kind of silly in there, brown patch. It looks crazy. It'll make people sometimes go, oh no, what's going on? But boy, I mean, now that we already got cool nights, you can already see the grass greening up and growing underneath it. So it's a short lived disease. Doesn't happen very often, about once a year on a golf course or twice, but a home lawn. I mean, it's been maybe eight years since I've seen it in a home lawn. So there you go, brown patch. That's how you identify it. Gray outside the ring. Uh, it's got a ring thing. When it is hot at night, it's gonna continue. You'll see this smoky ring of, looks like cotton around it, but it's gray colored, uh, a little different. Uh, you know, with uh, other ring patches like summer patch, uh, you'll see it's completely dead around the ring and that's because it's droughted out. Uh, and that p appears when it's just drought times. This one only happens when it's wet for a real long time and in the 70s at night. Uh, and so there you go, brown patch. That's a rare one. How you get rid of it? You just have to wait because it's a high nitrogen disease. You can't, you can't take nitrogen away from an area, but you can add nitrogen to defeat dollar spot, right? If you have both, you probably should just wait for a little bit until temperatures cool down and then apply your nitrogen. All right, there it is, brown patch. Thanks for listening.